Hello YouTubers. Today we are going to open box on Kiapa revolver. What does this revolver look like to you? I mean, what kind of animal does this look like to you? Does it look like a white rhino? Yes, it does, huh? To make this revolver, Kiapa took the picture of a white rhino, the skin of it, and blow it many times to get the pattern right, then coat it to the revolver. Look at this beautiful white rhino pattern. And look at this great beautiful grip. Look like an expensive African black wood, but it's not, it's actually a G10 material. It's very nice. And the pattern is after, of course, the rhino horn. Got a red front side, green dot rear side, adjustable for windage and elevation. The white rhino 30DS from Kiapa. Limited edition. This revolver to me, my friend, is the rhino to get, in my opinion. The three inch is just right. Not too short, not too long. The two inch looks good too, but to me it's a little bit too little for a 357 Magnum. The four inch and above to me, it's a little bit too long for this setup. But who am I to say that? The Harley Quinn, Harley, the Harley, Harley Quinn in uh, the movie Suicide Squad. She carry a rhino that is six inch, and she pull it off beautifully. So I guess it all depends on your purpose. To me, this is a very nice carry gun or pickup side arms. Look at the cylinder cut. You know, Kiapa cut it thin. So it makes the pistol very easy to take in and out of the holster. And it's also very short. Yet you get to have the full grip of your three fingers. Now the design. The modern design of this revolver is what makes it a great choice, a different choice from all the other revolvers. Let's take a look at it. This is where you open the, the wheel. You see that? And I like it because you can just pull it and push. You don't have to change your shooting grip. Pull it and push out. The beautiful recess wheel. It's very nice. Good workmanship. And you notice the barrel at the bottom of the revolver, which is different from the usual revolver, traditional revolver, where you can find a barrel at the top. So this way, when you shoot, shoot it, the recoil from the strong 357 Magnum is pushing right back into your palm. So you get this pushback motion, which is very interesting. Instead of the 
popping up jumping motion. It make it very easy <coughs> to shoot this revolver fast without losing too much of your target position. The double action pull is not lie. You have to overcome the first strong resistance and at the very end there's also a second resistance here. I mean it's smooth but it's not as smooth as say Smith Wesson. The single action pull cocking is atrocious, very heavy. But after you overcome that, it's very, very light. But every state has different regulations. So I heard you can get the stage 2 trigger kit from Kiapa. They will totally change the game of the trigger. I took this revolver to the range and it shoots beautifully. For 357 Magnum, the recoil is the lightest compared to all the snap nose revolver I showed you before, including Ruger LCR, SP101, and Smith Wesson 686 Performance Center. And of course, the Kimber K6S. This revolver managed the 357 Magnum recoil better than any of it. For 38 Special, if you shoot that, there's very little recoil at all, less than even 9 millimeter. So the design really works instead of popping up the hurt you will grip all over. It's the gentle nudge back, nudge back into your palm. And this is where this G10 grip shines. I love the setup of this limited edition white rhino. It just screams quality and collection collectible values to me. My friend, if you can only have one rhino, this in my opinion is the one to get. However, when you shoot this revolver, because it fires from the bottom, so you will feel the gentle heat, gentle heat out of the wheel. That's why they designed this recess here on both sides, where you can just rest your thumb. So you rest your thumb like that. Both hands, rest your thumb like that. And you want to be careful, don't protrude your thumb too much up front because it could interfere your trigger finger. So just a little bit notch, rest it here. And fire. This side too. 
Just rest here, not too much up front. Rest that there nicely. And fire. Again, the trigger pull is the least desirable for this revolver. But again, I don't intend to use this for target competition. So this shortcoming is okay with me. And maybe later I will get a stage two, stage two trigger kit from Kiapa and change that. Let's look at the target I did with this revolver from five yards after I adjust my sight. Now this says 10 yard but I shoot it from the 5 yard line. For snap nose, self protection comeback revolver I like to shoot it from 5 yards. Look at the big hole here. 357 Magnum. Very consistent. Only one flyer at the top. My friend, Kiapa Rhino, 30DS, White Rhino, limited edition. A modern design, one of a kind. Let's look at it one more time before we power with this rare right rhino. Safe shooting, my friend.